What's good, y'all? Album review here. Lil Debbie with Young Bitch. And I know what y'all saying. It's like, it's not an album. It's a mixtape because it was on live mixtapes, but it was also on iTunes. So I'm calling it an album review, you dig? Because if it's on iTunes, that shit is an album. You dig what I'm saying? But they got 11 joints on here. Um, Feature-wise, she got no features. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was dope. The first record, Don't Hate. Um, dope beat, you know, the hook was basic. She kind of sound like Iggy Azalea throughout this project. I'm not even go front. I don't know what the riff is between her and, and Iggy, but sometimes she throws shots at Iggy Azalea. I don't know if she feels like she should be popping because, you know, she a white chick and Iggy's an Australian chick, but she's still white. I don't know what that is, but she definitely throws shots at her. Um, but yeah, basic lyrics, you know, but the song's still dope as fuck. Fleek is number two. And I'm starting to hear people saying this word. And like I said, this is the first artist I ever heard say the word fleek. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a Bay Area word. You dig what I'm saying? You got to listen to it to understand it. You dig? I'm not even going to act like I understand it. I ain't been in the Bay in a minute. I stopped through here and there. But it's just new terminology, though, you dig? But at the end of the day, it's a hard beat. It's a hard song. Her flow is crazy and that shit. The beat was dope as fuck. The hook. Her lyrics was just everywhere, crazy, so I fuck with it. Um, number three, Me and You, I ain't like it. It, it sounds like a knockoff Iggy Azalea. Like, it, it, she really do, you know, no disrespect to Lil Debbie because I, I fuck with her. But at the end of the day, she just sound like, you know, Iggy Azalea. It's basically a relationship song, you know what I mean? Um, Auto-tune and shit, but I ain't like it. Trap Lust, number four, Ill Beat, Good Flow. You know, the hook on that joint was dope. She was flexing. You know what I'm saying? She dropped a lot of new slang on that record. You know what I mean? So she definitely big enough for the Bay Area, though, and doing her thing. So I fuck with it. Uh, Too Bad is about an ex, of course, if you listen to the song. It got that melodic beat. You know, uh, her flow was crazy. Um, she was honest, relatable lyrics, relatable hook. It's a lady's anthem if you take it for what it's worth. Females definitely can relate to that. You know what I mean? It's just like... A dude fucked up with the girl. He want to get back with her, and it's like hot. Too bad you fucked up. You did your thing, but it ain't it is what it is no more. You feel me? So at the end of the day, that song go number six. Zoning beat was hard as shit. Aggressive flow. You know she spazzed in her lyrics. You know she can spit though. Like I'm not even gonna sit there and, and say she can't spit. You know between her, Krayshawn, V. Nasty, I think Lil Debbie has that edge where she kind of can just say shit in a different manner where it come off a little bit more better. But she definitely spazzed on that record, man. Um, she was firing shots at somebody. I don't know who it was, but she definitely was, you know, firing shots at motherfuckers, letting them know, like, man, I do this shit. Uh, number seven, Boom. Oh, featuring uh, Aleki, if that's how you say the name. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that was the only feature. The beat was hard. It got a 90s vibe to it, you know, with that scratching. You know, uh, that shit was dope. The sample was dope. Um, I was actually shocked she actually did a beat like that. And her lyrics is just fly as shit, man. She definitely did her thing on that shit. You know what I mean? I have no problem listening to that record. You know, and once I seen she was dropping some, I definitely had to check it out. Because her, um, what was it, California? Something. Like, I reviewed that shit, too. It was dope as fuck. Uh, number eight, Good Head. I ain't like it. It's just basically about a girl wanting a guy to, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Castle Bricks. You could take this for what it's worth, but for what I'm looking at it as, bricks is, you know, what they call lean and pints. That's what I'm looking at it as. I could be wrong, but at the end of the day, that's what I'm taking it for. Uh, melodic beat. Uh, she kind of had a flow where it was like a melody with it, you know, so I thought that was dope. Her beat was unique and melodic, and her fucking hook was just unique. It's just a unique song in a sense. You got to really listen to it and take it for what it's worth. And her fucking lyrics is insane. Like, I'm listening to this shit like, God damn. Like, I had to run that shit back because I'm trying to figure out, all right, is she talking about dope or is she talking about lean? Like, because, you know, they call lean, you know, bricks. You dig what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Party on my dick, pause, number 10. Didn't like it. You know what I mean? Number 11, Beta LA. I think I heard that song before. I'm trying to think if it was on her last joint. I know I heard that song before. You dig? So it kind of sounded familiar, but I still fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Beta LA, you know, a lot of Bay people fuck with LA people. You know what I'm saying? It's all West Coast. It's all California. We should be united. You dig? It shouldn't be no 
you know, rifts between none of that shit. I just feel like we should come together as a team, you dig? Like, we is one coast, you feel me, with the West Coast. That's just my personal beliefs. It don't matter if you're from Oakland, Frisco, Modesto, L.A., wherever. We all one coast, you know what I'm saying? We all should stand up and be united in this rap shit, you know? You shouldn't have a problem working with that artist because they're from over there and you from over here. You know, it shouldn't be none of that shit. Like, I mean, saying the king of Oakland or the king of rich man or a king of this queen of that all that shit cool but we all one man it's like that's the type of unity Pac was trying to say it shouldn't be none of that shit to where you know one person is bigger than the city itself and that ain't what it is you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day beta la a dope record the beat was dope i like the hook her flow was ill bay lyrics at its finest though if you ain't from the bay you ain't gonna get her lyrics you'll probably listen to her like oh it's whack it's garbage like it's really not and the background vocals on that joint was crazy i definitely fuck with this project man i give her a seven and a half out of ten um songs are like eight out of eleven production about seven and a half out of ten she definitely growing as an artist man i gotta say because when it first came out with her Krayshawn and Be Nasty with the White Girl Mob. I didn't know what to expect, but it's good that they all stepped out and did their own thing. Be Nasty just dropped 11 11. Definitely check that out. This is worth checking out as well. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you, if you're from the Bay, you got to fuck with them. You got to represent. You dig what I'm saying? Because they putting on for the city. You dig? And other than that, it's a good project, man. It's good music. You can't say if you listen to it, it won't be nothing that you either won't learn from it, you won't like, or you won't relate to it because it's something on here for everybody in my personal opinion you dig but that's just me man so i just wanted to drop this off to y'all it's a friday i wasn't gonna do no reviews as you see i'm not even in my regular mode of doing reviews but I had to do something for the people so you know what i mean shout out to y'all i'm at 1080 subscribers so hopefully it keep growing y'all keep like what i'm doing and i want to start a q a session because a lot of people ask me questions in the comments so my email, everybody that's watching, if you know the email, email me questions and I'm going to start doing Q&A sessions like I used to do. You know, I'll put the uh, email one more time in my description and that's where you ask the questions that don't leave them in the comments because you post a comment on the video, what you think about the artist or if you don't know nothing about the artist, you know what I mean, then I can relay that. But I just start to get light way to know it where people uh talk about certain stuff in the video comments but it's not about the video you are watching so if it was questions or anything like that i'm gonna get my email and then we could do a q a session i'm definitely going to try to write down most of the subscribers that's starting to come in and shout them out so just stay tuned you know working on some different shit shout out to uh everybody that rock with me sever the bond uh david Kelsey, shout out to her, shout out to Joanne, shout out to um, Malik, of course, shout out to her, shout out to my girl, shout out to uh, Kev, you know, that's my nigga right there, he always looking out for me on the kicks and everything like that, just shout out to everybody that showed man love, man, shout out to everybody, you dig, so it is what it is, um, if I don't get time to review the music that y'all be uh, want me to you gotta remember it's music that I like you know what I'm saying if I don't really want to review it I can't do it just for a request I think Sundays will be request Sunday so for now when you have a request it'll be you know on a done on a Sunday so if you have a request and I look at it I'll go through it and I'll try to get to it on a Sunday you dig I'm trying to make the channel like I always said it's not my channel it's our channel you know I think I was the first to say that so other than that man let me know what y'all think Send your questions to the uh, email. And yeah, man, let's start the Q&A session again. Other than that, I'm out. One.